Hey there, Internet, and welcome to another episode of Where's Your Bookmark? Today, I am completely thrilled and so excited and over the moon to be talking to you about Scarlet, the second book in the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. Now, you might remember that Cinder showed up on my video for the favorite book series of 2012. It was a debut novel that absolutely blew me away, a futuristic sci-fi sort of retelling of Cinderella. The idea of Cinderella being a cyborg was absolutely brilliant, and the character and world building that Marissa Meyer gave us, it was simply incredible, and I could not wait to get my hands on the sequel. I was lucky enough to win a copy of an ARC, and I am so pumped that it is finally coming out to bookstores soon. Scarlet picks up right where Cinder leaves off, except not with Cinder. Instead, readers go halfway around the world to France. A girl named Scarlet Benoit is freaking out and terrified because her grandmother has gone missing, and no one seems to be concerned where she is or why she's gone. Eventually, she starts digging around and tries to start finding answers on her own. This brings her to meeting a street fighter, simply known as Wolf, and a whole lot of chaos begins. Despite the fact that her grandmother has raised her, turns out Scarlet doesn't know so much about her past as she thought. There are a whole bunch of secrets that come to light, and it's just an incredibly action-packed story. But don't worry, all of your favorite characters from Cinder are still here in the sequel. Chapters bounce around between showing what's going on with Scarlet in France, and then also picking up with what's going on with Cinder in New Beijing. She meets some new friends of her own and is desperately trying to figure out her own past and what she has to do in the future to save Prince Kai and the world from the Lunars and the evil Queen Levana. I actually read this book a while ago and held off on making a video because I didn't want it to be too rambly. It's just, ah, uh, this book makes me feel all of the feelings. It does so many things so well. Marissa Meyer is a true artisan when it comes to managing multiple points of view. Everything in the story is told in third person, but you're still popping in into different people's heads, different situations, and it's all just seamlessly bound together in an incredible story. It's never distracting, it's never overwhelming, you know exactly who's doing what and what's going on but you're still on your toes. It is an action-packed adventure series. I said it before in my Cinder thoughts that this is a great series of science fiction for fantasy people because it has fairy tales with a twist, and I am so excited that this book is finally coming out soon. I already can't wait for the sequels next year. There are two more books scheduled in this series. I believe Crests is supposed to come out next year, and then Winter, or I could have those backwards. I'll fix it down. Here. But yeah, this is an incredible series. I was very apprehensive about it at first, and I was so happy to be proven wrong. If you haven't read Cinder yet, again, I cannot recommend it highly enough. And if you have read Cinder, just wait. Scarlet is going to knock your socks off. All my usual links are down below. I love knowing what you guys think and what you're reading, and I just like hearing from you guys. So that's it for me for now, Internet. Take care. Bye!